Your Life. Proudly sponsored by All County Healthcare, where people are the heart of our business. All County Healthcare is a Medicare certified agency where one call will service all your home care health needs. For more information, call 954 717 7027 or visit our website, allcountyhealthcare.com. Now, let's get informed to living a longer and healthier life. Here is your host for today's show. Hello, South Florida and beyond, and welcome to the You and Your Doctor show, living a longer and healthier life. On Tuesday, January 23rd, hard to believe that we're really cruising through the, the month of January here, but everything's moving forward, especially in healthcare and health. Um, big shout out to the sponsor of this program, All County Healthcare. Um, they are a Medicare certified agency and home health agency. If you have any questions about home health or questions with Medicare, I know there's a whole different um, amount of plans and a lot of questions with that program. So you can always call All County Healthcare at 1 888 717 7170 or visit their website, allcountyhealthcare.com. If you're calling the number, just ask for Maddie and she'll be able to answer your um, healthcare questions as well. And we're always live on Facebook on All County Healthcare's Facebook Live page. I always take the time to share the All County Healthcare Facebook Live page because cool thing about Facebook, you can always go back there and see all the videos. But all the videos of this show are also posted on allcountyhealthcare.com um, as well. So I'm waiting for um, Dr. Manuel Gonzalez Brito to call in. I know he's um, traveling. He's a uh, a uh, pediatric physician who is on staff at Palmetto General Hospital in Hialeah, but also here in Palm Beach County at St. Mary's Medical Center in West Palm Beach, where he is running the concussion clinic. So that's huge news and timely. So we're going to talk to him a little bit about um, the concussion clinic there at the hospital in West Palm Beach, and then also um, as well, the um, the um, being vice president of medical education as uh, vice pre president of medical education um, at Palmetto General Hospital in Hialeah. So as we wait for Dr. Uh, Brito to call in, I'm probably going to um, bring my second guest in here so you don't have to just listen to me babble away. Um, and that's going to be Rachel Herta in a minute. She's here from di direct primary care of Boca Raton. So um, we're going to be talking a lot about concierge medicine tonight. And that's a neat topic because um, that is based like a gym membership. You pay monthly and you can see the doctor as many times as you'd like to. So that'd be fantastic um, for someone who sees the doctor on a regular basis. So really neat that we're going to be talking about that tonight as well. So we got a lot on store for you um, tonight. So we're going to talk, tackle a lot of uh, topics in the next hour. And um, here she is, Rachel Herta. Thank you for being early. You really uh, saved me tonight. I really appreciate that. Of course, yeah. Glad to be here. Thank you for asking. Thank you. And just pull that microphone right there down. Yeah, I didn't have you set up. My first doctor was a call-in, but he got a little behind. So that happens we'll in talk. healthcare. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It really does. I wanted to have you back on um, for a couple reasons. Um, you had a big story in the Delray and Boca newspaper. Yes. So that was awesome. People can learn a little bit more about you. And then also because there's so much happening with direct primary care. I mean, it was in the news pretty much almost every day this year. I mean, I, I Googled it today and, we, and you even talked about there's a little bit happening on Capitol Hill and whatnot. But we'll get right into that I wanted to ask you um, for the listeners, so what is your medical training and what is direct primary care? All right. So I'll start first with my medical training. I am a nurse practitioner trained in family practice. So I started out my career as a registered nurse. I worked for several years with Memorial Healthcare Systems in the trauma department. And I wanted to go back and be able to take care of people a little bit more independently. So I went, I'm a local trained FAU grad, go Owls. 
I'm um, really excited about their championship I'll win. I'll second that. I yep. went to FAU too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I went through their family nurse practitioner track and it was a really great experience and have been working in Boca as a family nurse practitioner for over six years and um, really wanted to do something different with healthcare. I had a lot of patients that were coming in that uh, because of healthcare changes were not able to afford a healthcare insurance plan that would really take care of their needs. So I started doing a little investigating and I found a model called direct primary care. And this is really a simplified form of healthcare. It cuts out the middleman of insurance for primary care and it allows patients to be able to have access to their provider directly. The provider is paid directly by their patients and it cuts out a lot of the overhead. It keeps the healthcare costs down. Um, so last time we talked, I hadn't opened yet, or I was just opening. Yeah, so, it was right before you opened, and then I actually attended your grand opening. Yes. And that was, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. That was amazing. You had the, um, and I have some questions for you about it down below here, but you had uh, the mayor of Boca Raton there, mm -hmm. I think a city council member from Boca Raton. A couple of them, Andrea and, Rourke and... Scott Singer were there. That's right. Mm -hmm. And a huge turnout. And um, the office is just really, um, it's really appealing. I mean, you walk in Thank and you. it just it just seems like it goes on and on. And you have a really nice exam rooms, got a nice flow to the office. And I, I just had a really good vibe. And it, everyone there was really, um, really neat, um, really, really cool people. So Yeah, let um, me tell you, we have such an amazing network of supporters for direct primary care. Um, as you mentioned, we had uh, Sue Zerhaney, um that came out. We had the city council there. I'm a Rotarian, so we had the members of the Rotary Club of Boca Raton that came and rallied and supported our family and our friends. We're all there, and we love to party. So, you know, we had to have some good food. Um, we had some paella. Paella, I remember yeah. the paella. Mm -hmm. And those are my friends from the Delray Green Market, so thank you for using them. They actually yeah. sell olives at the Delray Grand I Green Market, Spanish they're... Spanish Mediterranean olives. That is so cool. Well, they're good. Yeah. They're good friends of ours through the Rotary Club, and of course, we had some desserts by Love Kitty Cakes. Oh um, yeah, that's right. Thank you for the she shout ever out. Need any cookies made? She made amazing cookies. She actually puts the logo right on the cookie. Yeah. So that we have a edible food printer. So um, that's really neat. Great for marketing. If you ever need marketing, yeah. we can do it on cakes. cakes too. I'll just have to yeah, shout that out. There you out. go. Shout <laughs> it out. But yeah, it was a really great um, grand opening. We had a lot of fun. Um, people came and took a tour of the office. We have a beautiful location. We're located right across the street from Boca Raton Regional Hospital. Um, right across from the ER. So people are all the time like, how did you get that location? Because it's prime property. And um, it's, an, it's a neat story. It's a long story. But um, it's a beautiful location. We have two exam rooms. The, the environment is one that is relaxed. When you walk in, you hear uh, soundscapes. You sit down. It looks more like a living room. Uh, it's a very relaxed atmosphere. I call it my non-waiting room because as you hear a little bit more about direct primary care, you don't wait in the waiting room. You get <laughs> right put on back to the exam room or into my office to talk with me about what's going on. Um, but it's, it's, you know, that's what we wanted to create is a place where you want to be. Nice. And I think that area, you know, needs this. We definitely have great health care in the area, but um, it's always um, really great to have options with the health care that, you know, in the end, you're going to be paying for in one way or another. So to have options and kind of um, customize what, what kind of works for you. So I want to give out um, some of your information and then I got a whole bunch of questions for you. So because sure. um, I know direct primary care people here, they're always asking me about it. What it what's the difference, you know? So I, I want to explain that um, tonight on the show. But I'm going to get your last name right because last time you're on the program... Mm -hmm. I said um, I said it wrong. So it's Rachel Herta. You got it. Right? You got okay. it. Okay. And you are an ARNP. Well, um, what, that's a nurse practitioner, right? Is that Correct. advanced? Advanced registered nurse practitioner. Okay. In other states, you may hear APRN, but um, all the same thing. And then I also saw credentials after your name, NP-C. Is that correct as yeah, well? Yeah, that's nurse practitioner certified. So I'm actually okay. board certified through the American oh, Academy wow. of Nurse Practitioners. Um, so not only did I go through my RN training, my nurse practitioner, which is a master's level training in clinical hours, I also am board certified. Um, so excellence is important to me. 
Nice. And you're right here in Boca Raton. What's the address? And again, tell everyone where your office is located. It's right near Boca Raton Regional Hospital, right? right? So I'm located in the 801 Meadows Road building. Um, Meadows Road is right where the hospital is. So if you were to look out from the emergency room and look straight across, you see a one-story building. And it's a Spanish-style or Boca-style building. And I'm in Suite 111. Um, Nice big sign. Thank you, All-Star Engraving, for that. That out a lot there. of shout outs yeah. I like that and then um online you can a uh, great website dpcboca.com create url there it's easy to remember dpcboca.com sometimes i have a lot of doctors on this program and um and healthcare professionals sometimes the url is so long it's mm-hmm. just hard to remember but dpcboca.com it just kind of rolls off the tongue so I saw um, a story about you recently in the news. You've, you've had a lot of coverage, media coverage, since mm-hmm. you started, so that's great. So definitely, um, you know, when the media is, um, I come from the media, so when they're covering something extensively like that, you know it's pretty unique and uh, a, a great thing in, in, in most circumstances. Now, I saw that um, there was one story about you making house calls. That's kind of a throwback um, to actually an era maybe even before i was born so you actually do make house calls in certain circumstances how does that work and why did you decide to do that because not a lot of physicians do that i know some specialize in that Mm -hmm. and that's all they do but like the general primary care physician doesn't really do that anymore right so if you kind of like go all the way back when when physicians before they had insurance contracts and insurance companies were paying them for the services they would provide, they could basically take care of the patients the way the patients need to be taken care of. You're not worrying about billing codes and how am I going to do this? How many patients do I need to get into the office? Um, and then the, the advent of the insurance agency um, coming about, that really restricted physicians. You have to have certain billing codes. It has to be a certain type of visit, a certain level of visit. Um, So it really restricted physicians and providers from being able to, I feel like, branch out and take care of the patients the way way that they wanted to be taken care of. So that being said, when direct primary care is now a relationship between the patient and the provider, and if somebody needs a home visit, I'm able to do that. Um, So there are some patients of mine, people ask me all the time, like, who is your target client? And I'll tell them, I have actually patients of all ages. I have young children all the way up to um, older Medicare patients. Um, I believe my oldest patient is in their 90s. Um, And so sometimes it's more difficult for patients to um, come from their home to the office. Maybe it's after surgery or or chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Um, So it's it's something that's on as needed basis. Um, there is a small surcharge for travel just because you know it takes <laughs> time for me to get out of the office and takes time for me to get away from other patients. And um, but it is a service that is often not ever offered by any other office. So. No, yeah, I don't. I I googled it and I researched it and I don't really see it around this area. I may be wrong, but um, that is a, a great service. Um, I want to take a quick commercial break, and on the other side, I have so much to ask you about on the You and Your Doctor show. All County Health. All County Healthcare, Inc. still does it the old-fashioned way where our nurses and healthcare professionals come into your home to service your medical needs, providing you the fastest and best care possible. For more information, call 954-717-7027. And remember, Medicare home care is covered by Part A of Medicare with no out-of-pocket costs to you. It's your decision and only your decision on what health care agency you use. Call today, All County Home Health Care, Inc. at 954-717-7027. License 20099096. Getting older is not for sissies. That's what one of my patients says. And it's funny, but it's true. Live long enough and you'll get arthritis, skin cancer, probably one of the common chronic diseases like CHF, COPD, diabetes. At All County Healthcare, we teach you how to manage your disease. We make sure you know how to take your medications 
and how to recognize signs and symptoms before requiring hospitalization, no matter how many visits it takes. You didn't move to Florida to be sick. You moved here to enjoy the rest of your life. And that's exactly what our team of nurses, therapists, and aides at All County Healthcare help you do. You are listening to You and Your Doctor, Living Longer and Healthier, an informative show that helps you find answers to questions you always wanted to ask but did not have that somebody that could make a difference in your life. Call into the show if you have a question at 888-565-1470, and we will put you on the air to inform all our listeners. Now, back to our show. Hey, South Florida, welcome back to the You and Your Doctor show. Do two shows here on during the week, so How to Stay Healthy on Fridays, 5.30 to 6. Give my own shout out there as well. We're here with Rachel, Her- Rachel Herda. Mm-hmm. Um, Direct primary care of Boca Raton, advanced registered nurse practitioner, and board certified as a nurse practitioner, too. I just found out. That is Mm -hmm. fantastic. And um, one of the things you offer is concierge health care. And I mentioned it before, but it's membership-based. Is this something that um, I join, like, um, almost like I'm joining a gym or a club and I can go as many times as I want a month kind of thing? Yes, and so this is what makes um, direct primary care different than concierge because we're often confused and people are asking us, what's the difference? Um, Direct primary care does offer concierge-like services. You get 24-7 access, weekends, holidays, nights. If Basically, we know emergencies don't just happen during you know the 9 to 5 workday, mm-hmm. right? So it's important that you have ex- access to not just any healthcare provider because we know a lot of insurance companies will say we offer telemedicine, but you have access to your provider. Um, We also give patients their own slot. So you get an hour or a half hour slot, however long you need. You know, most people only get seven minutes with their provider. So it's very important to us to make sure that you get the time you need. Um, So it's concierge in that way. Um, It's not concierge in pricing. If you go to our website, uh, dpcboca.com, and you hit the enroll now button or the pricing list, you'll see very clearly we, we set up a very simple fee schedule. It is a monthly fee schedule. There is no long-term contract um, required. That was important to us as well. We live in a transient area. We know things change and we're certainly not here to keep people in a long-term contract. Um, so we have pricing for individuals starting at $65 a month for the 18 year olds up to 39. It goes to 85 from 40 to 59 and then $100 a month for those 16 older. We also allow children to join in. Um, they have to join in with an adult and it's $35 per child. And again, this is a monthly fee. And then we off- also offer um, group rates for families and for employers. So this is a really big thing that we've hit on is being able to help out employers, small businesses. Um, are very often unable to purchase insurance plans. That's for right. Employees. It's almost only getting um, um, costlier. Exactly. So we offer special um, group rates for them as well. So Drug Primary Care is a monthly membership, very much like a gym membership, with, like what you mentioned. Um, it is not insurance. I have to stress that it's not insurance. So if anything happens and you need to go to the ER or you need a surgery, um, that's something that you need that... Uh, what we used to call major medical or catastrophic coverage for. Um, but the direct primary care membership covers anything you need in primary care in our office. Yeah, and that, that could, primary care, that there's a huge amount of uh, coverage right there in primary care. Um, how many members do you have and will you cap the practice at a certain membership and maybe open up another one? Yeah, that's a great question because people are like, well, this is awesome service, but like how many people can you <laughs> take yeah, care of see like it this? a day, right? Right, yeah. And you know, a normal insurance-based practice has about 3,500 patients per provider. If not more. Yeah. I've seen some uh, over 6,000. Mm-hmm. Well, and you have to remember when you're doing insurance, you're only being able to bill that patient's insurance when they come in. So... Mm-hmm. You know, maybe they only come in once a year for their annual or something like that. But anyways, when you're doing a monthly membership practice and more of a VIP service, uh, we have more of like a soft cap of about 500 patients. Um, We, you know, we're going to see the most patient care is the most important thing to us. So, um, you know, when we get there and we'll know, (laughs) we'll be bringing on another provider to the practice. But we have been growing really fast. So. 
Um, people are hearing about us, spreading the word. Um, so we're growing quickly. Are you close to that 500 in Boca? Uh, 500 in Boca will probably be by next year. Okay, so yeah. there's still a little time in Boca. Oh, yeah. We still have some time <laughs> in Boca for people to join, um, but we're definitely growing fast. This direct primary care model, ever since I met you and learned um, about this, I've been kind of researching here and there, and um, I found out for this model, you're the only one in Palm Beach County right yes. now. Yeah, it's really exciting to be on the cutting edge of something new with healthcare. Um, so I mentioned before I was doing insurance-based medicine, working for a local um, practice, and Again, just very frustrated with the insurance side, both for the patients and for myself as a provider. And um, I found this movement called Direct Primary Care. And I went with my husband, Jody, um, and we went to this national uh, convention of other healthcare providers, nurse practitioners, physicians that are doing this and doing it well. And we learned from them and we said, we need this in Boca Raton. We need this in Palm Beach County. So um, very, very fortunate to be cutting edge here. I know, and there's some, there's um, eight states that are, are talking about this um, in their state governments and um, on Capitol Hill, which I have a couple of questions about in a, a few minutes, but I just want to um, uh, clarify something. Is it true as a member, you can, I can see you as many times a month as I need to, it's like yes. if, um, you know, maybe I got that, um, that, that bug that won't go away that everyone mm -hmm. has lately. Um, I got it twice in December. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone in my office got it twice. I think it... Mine was an acute respiratory infection. So mm -hmm. if like something like that happened and I got it twice in a month, I could go see you both times in the month? Exactly. So the nice thing is that um, with the memberships, like I said, we're not, we don't have 3,500 patients that we're you know, trying to manage. Mm -hmm. So we allow time for each of our patients to come in as needed. It's funny because I actually find that patients come in less. And I think that's because they have more time during their visits. So they don't feel as rushed. They are able to ask all their questions that they, you know, had. They're not feeling like, oh my gosh, I only have so much time with you. And I also offer a telemedicine component, which is really neat. Um, it's something that I provide. I pay for through the practice. It's called Spruce Health, and um, this is a way for patients to message me um, via text. They can email. They can call. And we do something called a spruce visit. And a spruce visit says, uh, for example, you send me a message and said, Rachel, I have this cough. I'm getting a fever. I don't know what to do. It's on a Saturday or in a night. And I say, okay, no problem, David. Let me send you this quick um, text visit. And it actually leads, through, leads you through these questions. It has you do some video components. Um, it has you, like if it was a rash, it have you take some pictures. And all of that is compiled within this HIPAA secured app called Spruce. And it sends it to me in a PDF format and it integrates with my electronic health records, which is really cool because we know documentation is important. So after I get all this information, I'm able to say, okay, this is something I need to see you in my office for, or this is something that we can you know, take care of remotely. I can either call in a prescription for you if you need, or just tell you these are some over the counters that'll help you. It's viral. There's no antibiotics that's going to help you in this. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just going <laughs> to take time. Nobody likes to hear that, but that, that's what happens sometimes. Um, so we can do a lot remotely too, as long as it's safe for the patient. Yeah. You don't have to wait through the whole weekend. Uh, maybe if something happens, uh, you know, midday Saturday, at least they can get to you and not worry about it until Monday morning, which would be impossible to see a primary care physician anyways, unless it was something serious. Exactly. Like, you know. And, and then by Monday, you know, if it was uh -huh. something that needed more urgent treatment, mm -hmm. now you're probably worse off yeah. than if you had just been able to, you know, take care of it when it happened so definitely yeah. now um do you bill insurance no yes i can say that I, I have nothing to do with insurance <laughs> <laughs> nothing at uh, all it's a wonderful thing it's very freeing um so everything that i i need uh for my practice to run is done through the monthly memberships and so um you know we we looked at those numbers really hard we wanted to make it affordable um and so I now patients, if they have Medicare, for example, or they have an insurance plan and they come to me and they need imaging or lab work and they want to, for some reason, go through their insurance, they can certainly do that. And I can write them a prescription um, and they can use their insurance and do that. Um, but a lot of times I can get the pricing cheaper. So uh -huh. people are like, yeah. I'd just rather, I'd rather use uh, your discounted rates. Um, whether it's medications um, or labs or imaging. 
Yeah, well, it's people's money. I mean, people should have a choice and not be trapped into, you know, maybe a plan that isn't beneficial to the care they need. Um, mm-hmm. I know I, well, I've been working for a long time, and I had a lot of insurance plans that I was probably paying a good amount for, even though I'm, I'm not that old yet, but I didn't use for years. And if I would have had something like more closer to a gym membership, maybe I could have saved money, had a house earlier kind of thing. You know, you never know. Well, that's the thing. Like, basically what I'm trying to do is help people take control of their dollars and their health care mm-hmm. because we know that emergencies happen. And so that's why it's important for patients to have some form of coverage, whether it's a health sharing option, which there's lots of plans out there that we could talk about that. Um, or these major medical plans, which are much harder to come by, which most people know their premiums have gone up. But if you get a higher deductible plan that pairs very nicely with a membership, um, when you come in to see me as a patient of direct primary care, you don't pay a copay or deductible. All you have is your monthly membership. So if you think about it, when we buy insurance for our cars, for example, we're insuring those major expenses. But for our daily you know, gas fill-ups, uh, wiper changes, oil changes. We pay for that, right? We budget for that personally yeah, out of any our pocket. Right, any maintenance stuff. And and I really think you can do that with primary care. And that's about 90% of your healthcare needs is primary care. So if we can budget that and we can really say not not how much should healthcare be, but what is the true value of healthcare, then we can really help the nation steer, you know, healthcare in the right direction again. Uh, you definitely know if, if hospital systems are building primary care and urgent care centers, that uh, primary care is a huge part of the business because why would they be taking that away from their own hospital? So that is definitely um, something that um, is happening in the healthcare landscape right now. Um, I've, uh, we're going to take a, a commercial break in just a minute, but I wanted to um, ask you uh, another question about insurances. So do you recommend... Um, if someone has, um, Medicare that they, that they have Medicare or in, in some sort of, um, situations, an emergency insurance plan as well. Definitely. So, oh, wow. yeah. So, you know, drug primary care is great because it covers about 90% of your healthcare needs, but I would be remiss to say, don't have anything else outside of that because yeah. you never know when something is going to happen and you need an that emergency 10%. surgery. Exactly. And I never would want somebody to be in that vulnerable position vulnerable position. Um, Some people that have joined my practice don't have the finances to have a major medical or a health sharing plan. And so the direct primary care membership gives them, you know, what they need. But patients have joined our practice who have Medicare, have commercial insurance plans, have high deductible plans, because again, it just, it pairs very nicely. And and, in reality, um, and I'll even use myself as an example, you know, having a PPO plan, uh, with about a $2,500 deductible. I rarely need anything in the healthcare sector at this point in my life. But when I go, guess what? I'm paying 100% out of pocket till I reach my deductible. So I'm essentially paying hundreds of dollars every month for a healthcare plan and then paying 100% of insurance rates for whenever I need, do need healthcare plan outside of whatever is covered in the wellness check. Right? So if I go mm-hmm. to a dermatologist and need a biopsy, guess what? I'm out a couple hundred dollars every time I go in there. Um, so if I did a direct primary care membership and I did something a little bit less expensive for my major medical or a health sharing, and I'll throw this out there, um, anybody that's listening, that's interested in health sharing ministries like Samaritan's ministries, um, MediShare, Liberty Health, um, they are a little bit more affordable. It's different than an insurance plan, but they are part of that affordable care act. Cause a lot of people ask me that question too. And if I do the direct primary care membership, will I be fined at the end of the year? And my answer to them is direct primary care is a membership. It's not an insurance. Therefore, it does not meet the Affordable Care Act, which I know yeah. there's a lot of things that have happened with all that too. Both ways, yeah. Right. I think it's still in place as yeah. of right now. Yeah, I'm not going to make any <laughs> official comment on that, yeah. but uh, look at our Facebook pages and we'll be yeah. uh, we'll be updating as, as things come to pass. Well, hold that thought. We're going to take a, another quick commercial break. On the other side, I'm going to ask you what a normal office visit is like at Direct Primary Care of Boca Raton. And later on, I got some questions on the flu shot because that's been very timely in the news yes. on the You and Your Doctor show. All County Healthcare, Inc. is locally owned and operated, serving the Tri-County area, Palm Beach, Dade, and Broward Counties for the last 25 years. 
The practice of medicine is changing dramatically. All County Healthcare, Inc. still does it the old-fashioned way where our nurses and healthcare professionals come into your home to service your medical needs, providing you the fastest and best care possible. For more information, call 954-717-7027. And remember, Medicare Home Care is covered by Part A of Medicare with no out-of-pocket cost to you. It's your decision and only your decision on what health care agency you use. Call today, All County Home Health Care, Inc. at 954-717-7027. License 20099096. Hi, I'm Deanna Barron, RN, with All County Health Care. You know how I know that I've done a good job? We say goodbye. After you understand the medications you take, Once you know that gaining two pounds in a day means you should call the doctor, when your wound is healed, when you can use your nebulizer all by yourself, when the goals that you and your all-county healthcare team of nurses, therapists, and aides established are met, we say goodbye. Very nice to meet you, and I hope I never see you again. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. You are listening to You and Your Doctor, Living Longer and Healthier, an informative show that helps you find answers to questions you always wanted to ask but did not have that somebody that could make a difference in your life. Call into the show if you have a question at 888-565-1470 and we will put you on the air to inform all our listeners. Now, back to our show. Welcome back to the You and Your Doctor show. We're, we're here with Rachel Herda, um, advanced registered nurse practitioner and board certified nurse practitioner at, at Direct Primary Care of Boca Raton. Um, great membership based um, health care plan. So, what's a normal office visit like at Direct Primary Care of Boca Raton? Because I got to talk to you a little bit about the open house, but I, I kind of got the idea where you as the practitioner see the patient in the exam room but then you invite them back to your office to have a conversation about your health like a a sit down in your office where you kind of talk about uh, health goals maybe what's going on with someone's health individualized exactly so when you walk into our waiting room or as i like to refer to it as our non-waiting room (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Most people don't even uh, get the chance to sit down because I greet them at the door. And, you know, we don't have a receptionist at a window that you knock on and sign your name in. I know when patients are coming in because they come in by appointment. Um, so when patient comes in, I usually will bring them back to my office and we'll sit down and talk before we do the exam. Okay, sometimes before. Yeah, sometimes I got it backwards. Before. Yeah, because, you know, when people come in with health care, the whole white coat syndrome Mm -hmm. you know i just want them to come in and relax let's talk about why you're here because then i know where to focus my exam Mm -hmm. you know if we need to do any testing then i know what testing we're doing so i like to sit down with people they will have a cup of coffee or they'll have uh water or you know it's just something to help them relax we'll talk about what's going on with their health care then we'll go back to the exam room i'll do the full exam any testing that's needed, then we'll come back to my office and we'll talk about the results and where we go with that. So whether it's um, any further follow-ups, if it's medications, um, I do dispense from my office. Which, right there in the office. Right there in the office. So Don't have to go to the pharmacy for certain. Don't have to go to the pharmacy. Nope. So, um, hmm. you know, we, we keep a full stock of things that are there for people who need them in an urgent situation, whether it's, you know, a urinary tract infection, a cold, um, maybe a gout attack, Anything you can think of. They pulled their, their back out. Um, spider so, bite. Yep, spider bite. happened to me last yeah. year. <laughs> so, you know, people don't want to go to a waiting room, wait 45 minutes to be put back, to wait another 20 minutes, to see their provider for seven minutes, to wait to be checked out for another 15 minutes, then to go to the pharmacy and wait for them to fill the prescription. I mean, you've wasted half your day, right? You've lost your productivity, productivity at work. So what we've done is we've created that specific time slot for patients. They come in, they get what they need. And then they're out the door. You must so. be good at reading people after seeing people in, 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 you know, in that kind of conversational state and then see them in the exam room. It really helps when you sit down and talk <laughs> with people and you don't Excuse have me. that awkwardness of, you know, sitting on a cold exam room table with that table paper nobody <laughs> likes to sit on. You know, uh-huh. when you're sitting in a chair and you're having this conversation, people don't forget things of what they want to say as much or they're able, you know, just to kind of really share what's going on in their life. And sometimes they're coming in for one thing and we sit down and start talking and it comes out that the source is something completely different. So 
I just find that it helps me take better care of people. And when you had mentioned about the home visits as well, you know, sometimes being in people's homes and like I said, it's not something I, I would say 90% of the time patients come into the practice, but there have been times where I've needed to go to a patient's home for some Mm -hmm. reason. And usually I'm able to see better what's happening, you know, if I'm able to go there to their house. And maybe make some suggestions if you see something. Exactly. That's very helpful to yeah, have. Yeah, fall risks. Yeah. Exactly. When um, do you ever have your primary care physician in your house? That's that's <laughs> pretty neat. Especially for, like you said, fall risks for someone who's maybe getting up there in age as well. But I just um, love the whole um, house call idea if, if needed. And then also where you sit and talk to the patient because... Um, that's definitely a throwback to another mm-hmm. time when, um, you know, it was more about the indiv- individualized care people were receiving and not such of, um, you know, I guess I hate to say it, but like money business, you know what I mean? Um, how many volume, how many patients, because I see in the day, you made a great point before, you know, and this is, I've seen this fact before you said it, so um, seven minutes is what the mm-hmm. average primary care That's physician right. spends with um their patient. Um, right. That is just amazing. And, and I have to say this for healthcare providers, it's not because they don't want to spend more time. I mean, if you talk to most providers, they would say they're incredibly frustrated with the amount of time that they can spend with their patients. And a lot of times it's because of the quotas, whether it's a big organization they're working for that are saying you have to see these many patients, you know, per hour or per day, or maybe their own private practice, you know, to keep everything afloat. You know, mm. nowadays with insurance companies, it's very hard to own a small private practice when you're dependent upon the insurance company because they're going to pay you a percentage, which means you have to see a certain volume of patients every day. So I, I also know there's a lot of paperwork and box clicking and all that that has to go into the visits. And that's a big complaint that a lot Staff. of patients have. Mm-hmm. Staff and real estate are, are two of the biggest. Yep. For sure. Yep. So we're, we're able to keep the cost down by staying out of the insurance side yeah. of it and just be able to have that relationship with the patient and and you know i think a lot of times too uh you know patients they want to know that the person they're talking to across the table mm-hmm. is a human being <laughs> that's going to hear them and listen to them and not have this you know uh, uh a presence of them of i'm i'm you know higher you know something than you you know mm-hmm. like I, I i want my patients to n- feel comfortable and you know i Healthcare is what I do, but I don't mm-hmm. do other things, you know? So everybody yeah. has their gift. Yeah, and another thing is like reimbursement amounts as well. That kind of goes with insurance and patient quotas. You know, if a doctor's not getting enough reimbursement on a certain amount, then they have to see a higher volume, which cuts the time down exactly. as well. And I'll tell you, um, uh, I really think, you know, every doctor has it in their heart to really help mm-hmm. people, um, you know, they take the oath. But that said... Um, I've seen a lot of doctors later in life and um, more so than earlier in life, probably like a lot of my peers. And the thing is that um, when you're a patient in there and you finally get in, it's a busy office and you're in there in the waiting room, you kind of become shell-shocked. There's been a few times I've had all my notes and then just forgot about them in my notebook, in my pocket. And then the other thing is when a doctor's rushing like that, that kind of um, uh, affects you as well and makes you kind of rushed. So to have, right. and I've met you, this is the third time I met you and you've been even keel all the time. I know that you have a great personality <laughs> and that's Thank the you. person you are, but I feel yeah. like um, that's just the, the kind of, you're the, um, you, you know, you're that way in your practice as well. I kind of get that um, vibe and I'm good with reading vibes. So, <laughs> so I'm going to. I'm going to say that. Now, um, last year uh, we talked about earlier um, the mayor of uh, Boca Raton um, late late last year showed up at your grand opening. And I just want to read a quote. Um, I got to talk to her there. And she said um, her name is um, Mayor Susan Haney. She's the mayor of Boca Raton. She said, and, and I quote, just loving, compassionate care for families. I think that's something that's really needed in Boca Raton. And then I kind of thought... Um, that that's kind of old fashioned compassion based. Like that's mm-hmm. something that you don't really hear. And you don't, you, you know, the mayor goes to a lot of business openings and for her to say something that like that in public, that must mean a lot to you, your husband and your practice. And we've you know. just been so overwhelmed by the support of the people in our community and our leaders. It has just been a privilege um, to be in Boca Raton and to 
own a practice in Boca Raton. And that really is a heart to take care of people and people from all walks of life, all stages of life. And um, so, yeah. You know, I'm going to go on, on top of that a little bit. Not that I'm topping the mayor, but I, I got a quote from um, the Boca Raton City Council member, Scott Singer, as well. And he said, and I quote, in today's modern world, it's harder to find the traditional care that people long for and are used to. And that is true. You know, I see a lot of um, millennials and they're kind of um, fueling a lot of the decisions that people are making with money. I mean, look at Uber. Mm-hmm. I mean, who would have ever thought that it hasn't taken over taxi, but it kind of gives you a, a, your own control of, of where you want to go with your money, kind of exactly right. what you do. So, I, and I wanted to, I know you mentioned this before, but do you see a lot of millennials in your practice, Generation X like myself, baby boomers, geriatric patients, or what do you see the most of and what do you, what, um, I guess, yeah. um, what's the mix? Gosh, it's a really good mix, though. It's, it's really hard <laughs> That's to good say. To know. Yeah, it's a really good mix. I would not say. I would I say mean, that probably, millennials wouldn't be at the bottom because, like I yeah, said, they're the, making choices with their money and they're very, yeah. uh, they're very good with their money. Yes, and <laughs> I would say that there's a lot of those people that are in that like I'm turning 26 age and oh, off the cobra. Off, yep, they're off the, cobra the parents' insurance. insurance. Um, we have had some parents call us and their, their kids are at college at a local college, whether it's Palm Beach State or FAU and said, you know what? I saw that you were in Boca and I would love just to know that my child has somewhere to go. And I mean, their child, their adult child. Um, and so they've signed their, their, um, their children up for that. Um, I would say if you average the age in our practice is probably mid forties by the time. I mean, because we, we take care of children, Right. So we have like young children all the way up to 90. (laughs) So we really have the wide spectrum of patients, but probably, you know, the, the people who I feel like, um, although we have a lot of different people for different reasons, um, I feel a huge need is in that small business owner, Mm -hmm. um, spectrum as well as the employees of the small, the small businesses. So for instance, um, we had one business that signed up their employees, their small business. So they're obviously not going to be able to afford a huge insurance plan. Um, and so they offered this for their employees. And so um, we're not an insurance company. So it's not something that we suggest that they try to write off as a business. But what we do is we create a special group rate for them. And then depending upon how the practice wants to do it, this particular practice or business um, paid for half of the monthly membership and then deducted the other half out of the um, employee's paycheck. But essentially the employees are paying like $25 a month for this amazing health care. So it's super affordable. Um, I was just seeing the numbers in my head and I was just thinking... If I own a small business and I have to pay seventy dollars a month per employee times ten, that's only seven hundred a month, and they can go see you as many times they want. It may be exactly. even lower than that. you said. You may have raised. I'm not yeah. going to put and, you on and, the and spot so, and ask and you exactly here's what. Here's the but. cool thing, you know. So not only does it save your business money, uh-huh. but it also saves the productivity of your business because if people don't have to wait several weeks to get in to be seen, that means they're going to get quicker, better, Mm -hmm. right? And especially with the telemedicine, maybe they don't even have to leave the office. Like maybe there's something that they would have normally left the office for because their provider's not going to talk to them over the phone about whatever's bothering them. But guess what? With Spruce Health, we can do that. And so maybe they don't have to leave work. So there's just so many great reasons that it works really well for small businesses. And as we know, with upwards of 1.5 million people in Palm Beach County, just leaving to go see a doctor during the morning or on your lunch break during this time of the year Mm -hmm. in the season, it could be a two hour trip. I mean, (laughs) in some places and be in the same city, you could be in Boca Raton the whole time. Well, and you know, I love this. And since you bring up dense distance, you know, people uh say, and I I have to do a little shout out here because I know this is, you know, something that we're promoting with direct primary care, but yeah, (laughs) but I, you know, there are direct primary care practices popping up in other places. So, um, there is one opening in Plantation um, called Aspire Health. Um, so if somebody's listening from that Southern end, there's some in Miami. So, you know, there are plenty of patients who need health care, who need direct primary care practice. So, I, you know, we as direct primary care providers are helping one another. But um, that being said, I do have patients from Broward County. I have patients from North Palm Beach area that 
um, become members. And the distance is really not an issue because when you count in the time that you sit waiting in the waiting rooms or waiting for appointments, that extra, what, 20 minutes that you drive to come, when if you get in and out just like that and you're not waiting for the pharmacy, it's probably quicker than the time you would have spent seeing the doctor down the street but going through the whole process. Sounds like direct primary care saves time and money. Um, hold that thought. We're going to um, take a last commercial break. If you have any questions, call into one 565 1470 and I'll open it up to questions for the last 15 minutes of the program on the You and Your Doctor show. All County Healthcare, Inc. is locally owned and operated, serving the Tri-County area, Palm Beach, Dade, and Broward Counties for the last 25 years. The practice of medicine is changing dramatically. All County Healthcare, Inc. still does it the old-fashioned way where our nurses and healthcare professionals come into your home to service your medical needs, providing you the fastest and best care possible. For more information, call 954-717-7027. And remember, Medicare Home Care is covered by Part A of Medicare with no out-of-pocket cost to you. It's your decision and only your decision on what health care agency you use. Call today, All County Home Health Care, Inc. at 954-717-7027. License 2009096. Hi, my name is Deanna Barron. I'm an RN with All County Health Care. I used to work for this huge corporate-owned home health agency, and I was always worried that they wouldn't let me make enough nursing visits to be sure that your wound was fully healed, or that you were completely comfortable checking your husband's blood sugar level and giving him the correct dose of insulin, or that your mom's lingering cough was the end of her bronchitis, not the beginning of a new episode. The owner of All County Healthcare always says, give the patient what they need, and he means it. At All County Healthcare, I see my patients until their goals are met, and I never worry. I hope you never need a nurse to come to your home, but if you do, tell your doctor, I want all county health care. You are listening to You and Your Doctor, Living Longer and Healthier, an informative show that helps you find answers to questions you always wanted to ask but did not have that somebody that could make a difference in your life. Call into the show if you have a question at 888-565-1470, and we will put you on the air to inform all our listeners. Now, back to our show. And we're back with Rachel Herta, Advanced Registered Nurse Practitioner and Board Certified Nurse Practitioner as well, Direct Primary Care of Boca Raton. I wanted to ask you, I know you mentioned it before, you're right across from Boca Regional Hospital are you on staff at the hospital and do you round at the hospital? Yes. So yes and no. I am on staff at the hospital and in my former position as a nurse practitioner, I, yes, I did see patients and um, both for a cardiologist and for my primary practice. Um, with this setup, it's a little bit different because I'm not billing insurance. So I am more of an advocate for my patients at the hospital. I go there. I make sure that everything's going well. I communicate with the providers that are have actually officially admitted them. Um, and then there's that continuity of care when they're discharged. So it works out really well. And you were um, on staff at that hospital as well beforehand. So right. you know people there. Exactly. You know how that hospital works. And it's a great local hospital as yes, well. Yes, it is. I've had a lot of physicians on from that program. I know you spoke on, we talked about this last time, you actually spoke on Capitol Hill in the past on yes. IRS codes. Yes. And, mm -hmm. oh, well, you talk, you you know more than anyone else. What was that like and what did you um, talk about when you were in Washington on Capitol Hill? Sure. So my husband and I, we went to Capitol Hill um, as part of the convention that we were a part of, you know, learning more about direct primary care. And um, there is some legislation out there that is going to help um, direct primary care be more accessible to people. Because right now, people who have a health savings account, for example, um, are unable to pay for their membership with their HSA. So 
that would be a really great bonus if they could. But right now, the IRS tax code interprets direct primary care as like a gym membership. I know we compare it to a gym membership, but obviously it's healthcare, right? It's not yeah, a gym. for that, we don't want to. Exactly. <laughs> um, but the way that the IRS tax code reads is because it's billed monthly, uh-huh. and they say it's not healthcare. But I could write a prescription for a Apple iWatch for my patient, and you could use your HSA account for that. You know, if you said it was for medical purposes, right? But you, you can't use it for direct primary care. So... Um, huh. th- those members of the direct primary care coalition who have gone way before I was a part of direct primary care, um, have really been very proactive. They reached out to the, um, treasury department and they basically said, we're not going to be changing our tax code laws, but you could go to, uh, you could go to Capitol Hill and get them to change the, the law there. So that's what we were doing. We were going before our representatives and just sharing with them why direct primary care is so important and why it's just the verbiage um, change that allows accessibility. You know, these people who have HSA accounts, they can't use all the money that's there. Something but it's like their that. Money. Could, I know, but and if they <laughs> they had that, then they could easily pay for the membership with that. Uh-huh. Um, so that's what we were we were advocating for our patients so that they could do that. And that's money that people put into that health savings account for their health. Exactly. So I feel like they should have the choice to do what they want. And with there's their nothing money. more medical than direct primary care membership. <laughs> I yeah. mean, that, that is that is healthcare in of itself. So yeah. yeah. So you're every time you're on this show, it's very timely. Last time it was the day or two before you opened direct primary care of Boca Raton, and as we're talking about this, I was doing a little research before the show, and direct uh, the the headline is from WUSF News here in Florida, direct primary care. Head to house floor, and it says the Florida House is ready to take direct primary care to the house floor tomorrow. Yes, I'm so excited about <laughs> Wednesday. this. Wednesday. Yes, so um, direct primary care again. It's it's something new. There's, I want to say like 790 primary care providers out there doing this throughout the U.S. So um, it's still a newer concept. A lot of people haven't heard about it. So we're doing a lot of educating, and a lot of times state law does not know what to do with us. Mm -hmm. And so there are some people who would say, oh, well, you're trying to be an insurance company. And I'm like, nope, not trying to be insurance. I'm trying to definitely not be insurance. Um, And uh, what we would like to do is create a law for direct primary care. So that way we're defined very clearly. And that way patients also have a very clear definition about what direct primary care is. So it covers both sides. It covers myself as a practice owner. It also covers the patients who join a practice. So it's it's very basically saying this is who we are. This is what we provide. The patients say this is what we're signing up for and that it's not insurance. And so this is um, something that has been brought to the floor before, um, but it was actually um, fast-tracked this time for this legislative um, session. So tomorrow... We will hopefully, uh, we've had a lot of support in the House, but um, hopefully it will be uh, passed and, uh, you know, that'll be one step closer uh, for us to actually have DPC law in the state of Florida. Um, There are several other states who have passed DPC law, so we won't be the first, but uh, definitely it's needed. And I believe it's WUSF out of Tampa that's reporting this, and you're going to like this guy. It's The bill sponsor is Danny Burgess, a Zephyr Hills Republican representative. So Zephyr Hills makes great water, and of course they're doing um, great things here as well. It's going to be House Bill 37, so we'll have to um, follow it through the session as yep. well. Um, I want to kind of um, change to the topic a little bit um to what ailment are you treating the most in the boca raton office because i don't always get in front of doctors i like to see what's out there is it that flu is the upper respiratory infection i mean what's number one this season what we're in right now has been cold season i'm not even gonna say flu although flu has been rampant is that because you think it was so cold up north so early that it maybe um was kind of brought down here or, or the virus strands um Meaner, I think, too, we've neighbor. also had a lot of weather changes, and so oh, people yeah, who are Florida. more susceptible to getting infections, they're just coming down with it quicker. We've had, you know, that it's those cold cool. weather snaps, hot. Today, Whenever humid. we see those weather fluctuations, I always oh, see people coming in with it. System, but it, all, huh? it has been a really bad flu season, so if you follow mm-hmm. the CDC, um, mm-hmm. you'll see that, you know, it's been a really bad flu season. We've been immunizing people uh, with the flu vaccine. Um, do you give flu shots in your office? I do. 
Nice. Do. It's actually part of the membership. So you don't even wow. pay anything for it. Yeah. It's Every nice. year. Yeah. And then now that being said, um, the flu shot this year has not been as on par as we were hoping it would be, but you still get some immunity and it also helps lessen the severity of the flu if you should get the flu. So, Better than nothing at all? Exactly. Okay. Yes. And, and it's not just, you know, people say all the time like, oh, I never get the flu. Why would I get the flu shot? But are you around people who would be immunocompromised? Are you around little kids? Those are all people that like maybe the flu isn't going to bother you, but that it, it, you know, it'll put you under the weather for a few days, but those people, it could be life changing. And I want to ask you, because I, I follow you on Facebook, and I, I think you're a great follow, and I know your passions in, in, in and out, or outside of medicine. I want to ask you, you have a newborn as well <laughs> that you're taking care of? Man, we're crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, so my husband and I, we um, have a passion to take care of children, and so we foster. And yes, we have a two-month-old now on top of nice. three other kids. So we're busy. We're very busy, but we love everything that we have going on. That's fantastic. And how many kids do you have foster? We have four. Now, one's adopted. Four. We're oh. actually adopting another one. Uh -huh. So there'll be two foster, two adopted pretty soon. That's great. Yeah. I mean, congratulations. Thank you. That was really neat. And um, definitely look up Rachel Herta, uh, Direct Primary Care Boca Raton, 801 Meadows Road, Suite 111. You got it. DPCBoca.com or 561-530-2622. Thank you for listening to the You and Your Doctor Show. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for letting us share with you a longer and healthier lifestyle. If you have a doctor or are a doctor and wish to be on the show, call Amp2TV at 866-244-244. 5422 and we will put you on the air as soon as possible. Tune in next week for more information on living longer and having a healthier life. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station.